Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Why? Stay tuned and I'll tell you. Well, I came to Tucson, Arizona, drove in here last night from Phoenix. Well, I left Quartzsite yesterday. I drove two hours to uh, Phoenix, and then I drove another three hours here to Tucson. Uh, I went and saw Mr. Steve. I sold him my tracker with a bad engine. I had a subscriber that reached out to me several weeks ago and told me, he said, Kevin, uh, I've got a geo tracker that I'm not using. They towed it behind their Sprinter for a couple years. They bought it at an estate sale where an elderly man towed it behind his Class A for many, many years. It's low mileage. It's a 92 model. It's got 82,000 miles. It's been garaged every day. It wasn't driven or towed. And uh, we're going to take a look at it today. Well, the, the tracker, this was the tracker's home right here. It's been under this shelter been under this shelter here for five years to protect it from the Arizona sun. Well, We're, in Minnesota we had a six tall garage and it was always inside or if we had to retire at the lake. We had a two and a half stall and then we put up a great big huge car park that we put the boat in and, and the sprinter and that always sat inside. It's got 82,000 miles on it and it's been mostly towed behind a class A and then uh, Miss Dixie here she's towed it behind her sprinter van for a while. We're going to go out and test drive it and take a look been looking at it for the last hour so far I don't see any leaks and everything seems tight you can tell that it's been it's been garaged the tires are almost new tread but unfortunately they're seven months seven years old beautiful neighborhood back here there are saguaros up on top of the mountain it's just incredible take a look right here I can't wait to start showing you video from this area. I drove in here at night and I wasn't able to see everything. He's going to leave me. <clears throat> alright, alright. I'm going to show you guys the interior. The seats match the, the paint. It's got a rear seat in it. Uh, 82,000 miles, 5 speed, 4 wheel drive. But it does not have air conditioning. It's the only, only issue. But most of the miles are towed. And it's a beautiful little neighborhood right here. Very, very nice. Still playing. I spent the night right here in their yard, their driveway. Look at these views, would you? Donkey. Look at the view you have right here. We love it. I've never seen We're some, gonna, never seen some warhos up on a, a ridge like that on top of a mountain. Oh, look at all the horses. It's just incredible. What what have I driven myself into here? There's also a BLM land close to here? Yes. Wow. I've never Never seen anything like this. You guys getting this? Now where's Tucson? Over here? Right here. No, we're eight miles. Eight miles away? That way. Every morning. I walk I walk the dogs every morning and this is what I have to look at. <laughs> if I get you in the video, is that okay? Or you don't want to be in the video? I'll keep you out of it then. Oh that's okay. It don't matter. Yeah, they got trails all over the place. People come and ride their horses and hike. And... How beautiful is this? I see why you moved here now. Okay. You were uh, RVing for a long time. It surprised me you found a place to stay. Uh, one place to stay. Not that long. Well, I, I got. I got to show you something here. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Damn it! I got to turn around. It's fine. No, you can't see it from here. We got too many obstacles. Watch this fan. 
We so, so people move these saguaros in or this? No, they're natural. Oh wow, look at the uh, orange trees. Oh yeah, all over the place. Get on it now. I'd love to get a shot of that cactus right there. Okay, we'll come around. I have to show you something. All there's right. a there's a mountain over here. It's called Kit Peak. K I T. K I T T. Let's see. It's about 60 miles from here. They got telescopes up, up there. Several telescopes, and they they watch the stars. I'm gonna go this way. I want to see this cactus right here. Do you know what these are called? Stay away from them. Yeah. Stay away from them. <laughs> you know, you know the difference between this engine and mine? No. This one don't go. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go this way. I haven't seen this cactus around quartzite. What's, what's over here on these mountains? Telescopes. Government telescopes. And they, they, they watch the stars, watching for whatever. And they're looking for intelligent life? Yeah. Huh. It's uh, called Kit Peak, K I T T. And uh, how far is that from here, what we're looking at? An hour. Because I can see there's something on top of that. Yeah. I want to zoom in right here. Yeah, try to zoom in there. I think I see my house in Georgia. Yeah, you probably could. And uh, if, if if it's 100 degrees here, you go over there, it's 65. Incredible, just the elevation. Yeah. Arizona does that with like Flagstaff and some yeah. other higher places. Yeah. You can, you want to go skiing this afternoon? We'll go wherever you want to go. You want to go skiing, snow skiing? We'll go wherever you want to go. No. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a place There's a place to the north here, a mountain. I'll have to think about it here. But you can they have a ski lodge up there and you can go skiing today if you want. Wow. I haven't even told everybody your name. This is Mr. Wes. Will. William. How the fuck? This is Mr. William. Oh. <laughs> price just price just went up on the tracker because you've told me your name three times. No, that's okay. That's alright. How beautiful. I can't wait to start. I think I'm going to stay here for a while before heading back to Quartzsite and learn this place better. You'll have power. Stainless steel trailer from the 50s. Huh. So this is Tucson. Now Tucson is just right over there on the other side of that hill there. What's it like at night? It's nice. It's nice. It's just I thought quartzite was pretty, but this is 10 times prettier. This is 10 times prettier than any desert I've seen so far. A lot, of people, a lot of people bring their horses up here on these trails, huh? Yes. Busier on the weekend, but it looks like a lot of people are here today. Yeah, a lot of people are here today. Of course, it has been cold the last couple of days, so. Now you can see that kit peak a little, little better. Uh-huh. Hmm? It's up there. I don't know what the elevation is up there, but. There's and several telescopes. And that's how many miles? Approximately 60. Wow. So it's a clear day, huh? This is, yeah, we got a little, little, little fog. A eh, little high clouds up there, but nothing serious. Wish I had a little more elbow room, but you know. We're driving around here in uh, Mr. Wells' neighborhood. neighborhood. And uh, I'm just blown away by the style. You know, I, got, I showed you guys Yuma, but I think this is actually prettier. Yuma don't have anything on uh, Tucson here. Not, these people don't have quite as much room, but they have a lot more style. Yes. 
Here's a view they have in the evening. Oh. Sean, there's people. I've seen people on top of this. I've seen people up there. Good for them. There's a trail they walk around and they go all the way to the top. Can you imagine the view? Yeah, I bet. Oh boy. You ever may you ever make it? Me? <laughs> <laughs> And so these saguaros, they just built around them. These are all. Yep. yep. How long? I wonder how long it takes a cat just to get this big. How many years? It takes, it takes 80 years to grow on, grow an arm. See that arm there? Yeah. It takes 80 years. Wow. So I've been told. I don't see any Georgia red clay. No. <laughs> huh? No. These people think it's summertime, they're wearing shorts. And... It's kind of breezy. And we're back yeah, to where we started. Warm this thing seems to be pretty tight, Mr. Will. Whoops, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm not used to it. Can we get on there? I do. All right, thank you for the test drive. This tracker comes with a home built tow bar. It's wired for lights. It's a good looking little sucker, isn't it? It's not perfect, but it's over 90%. I'd have to look a long time to find one nicer. Bet y'all didn't see this coming, did you? It's real windy where I'm at here. So when I parked here last night, I parked behind this, beside this little bitty orange tree. I got wind coming, maybe it won't be so bad. Have you ever seen such tiny little oranges? Look at that. And this tree, oh, there's the wind. It's ate up with them. Just ate up with little oranges. And he had some pink grapefruit back here in the backyard. Talk about sweet, wasn't bitter a bit. Look at all the oranges, everybody. Neat, neat, neat. The old wolf pack's been in here by themselves for about 30 minutes. Now my floor is dirty. I've been in the desert for weeks. I'm fixing to clean up while he goes to the bank and gets a notary on the title. Hey, Tuck. Hey, baby May May. Hey, Martini. Baby May May, are you feeling better? We had what I call Poopa Palooza 2018 the other night. She had it going, coming out of both ends, and we had a mess. I gotta clean up your face. How you doing, Tucker? I'm all right, man. Where you been? Well, I got us a, uh, another tracker. You did? Yep. And so we got a way to go four wheeling now. All right. How you doing, Martini? It's about time you got back. You've been gone too long now. Don't do us that way. Okay, baby. Next time I'll take you with me, I promise, all right? You don't have anything to say today, baby May May? No, you're telling everybody about me being sick. Okay, okay. I don't know how so much comes out of both ends of a little five-pound dog, but oh my gosh, I had to go to the laundromat. It was bad. Daddy! Okay, okay, I won't say no more. This is not... This is Mr. Will and Dixie's dogs. They have uh, men pins. Come on. They have men pins and they have a little chihuahua. All kind of dogs. What's this dog's name? That's Tinker. This was their neighbor's dog that died of cancer and they took it and Give them a home. What's this one? That's Buddy. Hey, Buddy. And that's Riley. And Riley. Rescue he's a, dog. He's a rescue. So he's got issues a little bit. Yeah, he's got issues. Don't we all? Y'all gonna, gonna say goodbye? They've been out here playing and playing and playing. So come unless. On. Uh, come on. Come Martini's on. been trying to figure out how to come rule on. them all. Come on, come on. It's okay. Will come is on. gonna. Give me some grapefruit. So I thought I'd come back here and see what his tree looks like. It's my neighbors. Oh, even better. 
These are oranges, right? Yep. I like these outdoor living areas, the way you guys do it out west. Look here. You know, it's got to take a pretty strong tree to hold up that much weight. Uh-oh. Let me get this one here. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These oranges are a little bit bigger than the ones he had his other neighbors. Them are, them are nice. Them are nice. Well, I've given my new geo tracker a name. You know what I'm going to call it? I'm going to call it Blue. Out of the old, into the blue. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Will. Appreciate it. These people right here have been very gracious hosts. Gave me a great deal on the tracker. I just can't thank you enough. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay. New adventures coming soon. I'm going to go climb Dome Rocks, what I'm going to do. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.